Well, the attack on a farm owned by the former president, Uhuru Kenyatta, is widely seen as retaliation for his support of the opposition leader, Raila Odinga, and his call for twice weekly protests. Well, in an exclusive interview with the BBC's Ferdinand Lamondi, Mr Odinga says that, the support, that he supports the right to protest but condemn the violence and looting. He want any kind of violence. He did not want any destruction of property at all. It was supposed to be a peaceful demonstration and it was not going to take a very long time. Unfortunately, we have seen invasion of private property today. Um, the farm of the former president, uh, Honorable Uhuru Kenyatta, was invaded to everybody's consternation. There was no police on site. All this exercise took place uh, and not a single police officer went around to try to restrain these people, these invaders. At the same time, another group of goons were sent to my company, the manufacturing company East Africa Spectra Limited, an industrial area, and they attacked the property, with, pelted it with stones. Uh, they were supposed to invade and take away the product. We produce LPG gas cylinders in that factory. Uh, unfortunately, unfortunately uh, some of our security officers, our youth, went and confronted them. That's how uh, the property was saved. So this, therefore, spells serious doom to our, our country. Uh, we see that our in, in democratic institutions are under attack and that uh, Kenya is on the brink of serious, serious uh, uh, ca catastrophe. Uh, our apologies, we are close by the river, so frogs and other animals uh, at night. But why now? Why attack his property? Is he supporting you in any way in the current protests you're calling for? There have been unfounded allegations that Honorable Uhuru Kenyatta is fi funding the current uh, protests that have been carried out by Azimio uh, Coalition One Kenya. But nothing could be further from the truth. Yes, Uhuru Kenyatta is a member of this movement. He is still the, 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 the chairman of this movement. But he has restrained himself. So he has not had any, any time to engage in domestic issues at all. Neither has he com commented or talked about what is going on in the country. Now, uh, I'm looking at the attacks uh, at Spectra at almost the same time that uh, the farm was being attacked Northlands. And I'm wondering, does it, do they strike you as premeditated or sporadic? They are planned. This cannot be accident. They've been talking about it. They have go gone public and said that they are going to uh, 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 invade Uhuru's farm. Because the sanctity of property, respect for private property, uh, 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 as enshrined in the constitution, you see, if you're invading now Uhuru's farm, where is the, the borderline? Where's the end? What stops you tomorrow from invading so and so's other f the farm and the other farm and the other farm and so on? Now, the property of the powerful politicians will be discussed, but others will also point to the destruction of private property of the ordinary citizens. We have had cars vandalized, we've had people robbed, even journalists were attacked today. And some of those people who are conducting or carrying out these attacks were people demonstrating in your name. Do you take your responsibility for those attacks? No, not at all. What happened today? Today was supposed to be a peaceful demonstration. Our constitution and Article 1 says that the power in the Republic of Kenya, sovereignty that is, is in the hand of the people of Kenya. They can either exercise it directly or through their elected leaders. So we were actually invoking that article in our constitution. 
read together with Article 37 of our Constitution, which gives our people the right to picket, right to present petitions, right to demonstrate, uh, so long as it is peaceful. But there are those who will look at the pictures of protesters holding stones, hurling them in the direction of uh, the police and even at some citizens. And then they'll say the constitution provides for people who are peaceful and unarmed. Would you not say that you're stretching the meaning of peaceful demonstrations if we do see protesters carrying stones? There's what is called offensive violence and this was called defensive violence. The two are not the same. Who was the provocateur in this? The police went and basically sealed the residences. People could not come out. They were throwing tear gas at, at the people within their, 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 their compounds. So people therefore now came out to defend themselves. They wanted to get out. And that's why they were luckily throwing stones at the police. So those two kind of violence are not the same. One is offensive, one is defensive. Do you see a situation where Raila Odinga and President William Ruto sit down at a table to talk this out instead of the chaos you're seeing on the streets? I say, I've said that, that there are conditions uh, which must be fulfilled before we, we can have any meaningful uh, discussions. Okay? First, Mr. Ruto must stop uh, uh, looking at opposition uh, in a derogative manner. He has invaded the opposition. We, as Abizmiu Laomoja, one Kenya, had the majority of members of the National Assembly. We had a majority of members of county assembly, also senators and governors. But as soon as he was declared the, the winner, he embarked on a process of basically dismembering the opposition. People who had been elected on a Zemio ticket are now members, are, are now voting with, with, with Mr. Ruto. Mr. Ruto must first respect multi party democracy that if a member was elected in a particular party, even the late Mr. Moy used to respect that rule. If this member is leaving the party to join the other party in government, he resigns his seat and goes back to the uh, electorate to seek a fresh mandate. Secondly, he must agree that the server will be opened so that we can e examine what is in the server, okay? Thirdly, he must stop the reconstitution of the Electoral Commission uh, 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 before we can sit down uh, and, and, and talk. And, and of course, finally, he must agree to, to address jointly with us the issue of the cost of living of our people.